Hi, this is an educational video to explain X-ray output constancy check for linear accelerator QA. The purpose of the test is to verify the output of the X-ray beam. The equipment that will be needed for this test are ionization chamber, diode detector, or, you know, there are purpose-built QA devices that can be used. We will also need plastic phantom. Accepted tolerance is 3%. Recommended setup. Gantry, 0 degree. Collimator, 0 degree. Field size should be 10 by 10. SSD or SDD equal to 100 centimeter. This may also, the value may also depend on the local protocols. Depth of measurement, it should at least be Dmax. It can be more than that. Again, depends on the local protocol. Um, energy. So this test can be done for any X-ray beam energy. Let's go through step-by-step -step procedure. So step number one is to, to do the beam setup. So as we saw in the previous slide, uh, you know, set the beam with the gantry zero, collimator zero, six MV beam, field size ten by ten. Uh, Step number two is to set up the detector. Set up the detector uh, at appropriate depth uh, with an appropriate SSD. Uh, this depends. This basically depends on uh, on the local site protocols. So follow that protocol, and then do the measurement. So let's say you deliver 100 mu, measure the ionization or the dose. Uh, you know and calculate the dose value, let's say it's D1, uh, then compare that D1 with the baseline value, uh, let's say that's D, use the formula as shown in the, in, the, in the video to calculate the percentage difference, make sure this percentage difference is less than the tolerance specified. Here's an example, so dose, uh, let's say the baseline dose was 100 centigrade, uh, and the today's dose is D1 is 99.5 centigrade. Percentage difference using the formula is minus 0.5 percent. Since the percentage is less than tolerance, this machine is good for the day. A small note on the purpose-built QA device. Uh, so you know every QA vendor has some kind of daily QA devices which are capable of doing this measurement. Uh, these devices are very easy to use and set up. Uh, they will. They also help to reduce the time burden. Uh, okay, here's the reference, and that's the end.